In this lab, we're going to examine DNS records. Let's go to Tools and DNS. Let's expand PLAB DC01, Forward Lookup Zones, and click on practicelabs.com. So the resource records are displayed on the right side. They are created automatically and can update themselves. Let's click on View, then Advanced. On Details, let's right mouse click on PLAB DM and go to Properties. Here you find the record timestamp and the time to live. Let's click OK. Let's jump on to our Windows 8 box. Let's open a command prompt and ping plab dm onepracticelabscom Good. Let's do a display DNS with IP config. Display DNS. This gives us quite a bit of information. Notice that the time to live is set to 1176 seconds. Let's do a flush DNS with IP config flush DNS. Okay. Let's go back to our domain controller. Back to properties of PLABDM. And notice the time to live is down to 20 seconds now. Task 2 using NS Lookup to verify resource records. Name Server Lookup or NS Lookup is a command line tool used to view resource records of a DNS server. So let's right mouse click on practicelabs.com and go down to properties. Click on zone transfers, select allow transfers. So the to any option here that's automatically selected by default means that the PLAB DC will copy its resource record to any computer that's requesting it. We'll go ahead and click OK. Let's go back to our Windows 8. All right, so it's it's not finding the the server, so we need to bind the server. Very easy command. All right, so now the server is binded to this Windows 8 box. Next, let's set the DNS query for start of authority SOA record types. Done. This command doesn't give a confirmation, but it's in effect. So these are the SOA records for practicelabs.com zone. Next, we're going to set a query to view host A record types. And we enter practice labs again. 
and now we're able to see the host day record types. To view other record types, we're going to use the ls-ta practice labs.com command. And this shows us the other record. Task three, adding other resource records in DNS. We're back in our domain controller. Right mouse click on practicelabs.com and select new C name. We'll call this one DC 100 and FQDN. will be plabdc.practicelabs.com click OK so here's our new record DC100 plabdc01practicelabs.com let's select practicelabs.com and right mouse click let's select new mail exchanger We'll call this one uh, mail host one. The FQDN is going to be mail host one dot practice labs dot com. Let's click OK. And as you can see here, we have a um, new record for mail host. Let's select practice labs dot com again. Right mouse click and select new A or quadruple A record. And we'll call this one mail host one with an IP address of 192.168.0.27 and click add host. We'll go ahead and confirm that we're adding this host and click done. As you can see, mail host one is now displayed. So we've created three records here. DC 100, mail host 1 mail exchanger, and mail host 1 A record. Our next exercise is to configure DNS records. Our first task is to set the scavenging period. So we're in PLAB DC01, we're in DNS Manager. Let's right mouse click on practicelabs.com and go down to properties inside of the general tab we're going to go inside of aging you see to set aging front slash scavenging properties we're going to select scavenge stale resource record and change the refresh intervals to 10 days just click ok and ok Task two, configure secure updates. Let's select practicelabs.com, right mouse click. Go down to properties. On the general tab here, notice when, when we look at the dynamic updates, it is set to secure only. Let's go ahead and click OK. Let's jump into our Windows 8 box. Go to control panel. And let's find the Windows firewall here. Let's click on Advanced Settings. Choose Inbound Rules. Scroll down to Remote Desktop User, TCP IP in. Okay, so it's remote desktop user mode, TCP IP in the public profile. Let's right mouse click it and select enable. Let's open up PowerShell. And we're going to remove the computer.
from practicelabs.com domain. So it's asking us if, if we're sure that we want to leave the domain. We'll go ahead and put a Y for yes. All right, so the changes will take effect once the computer's restarted. Let's do the um, shutdown command. Let's jump back into our domain controller and let's click the refresh button on the practicelabs.com zone. And notice we lost some DNS records. And notice we don't have a record for Windows 8. We have one for Windows 7, we have one for our domain member, but not for Windows 8. So the Windows 8 box should be restarted by now. Let's jump back into it. Okay, we'll say yes to connect to the network. All right, let's go back into our command prompt. Let's do ipconfig register DNS. All right, so it looks like DNS is registered. Now, if we go back to, to our domain controller, we're still not going to find Plab Windows 8 box because we set the dynamic updates in practicelabs.com to secure. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching the video.